In this presentation, we will discuss custodial funds. Recalling that custodial funds are one of the three groupings of funds where we have the governmental fund, the largest group, and the proprietary funds, which are those that are going to be so similar or function in a similar fashion as for-profit organizations, and then the fiduciary funds, which we are working on here, where the custodial fund is one of the fiduciary funds, along with the private purpose trust funds, for example, investment trust funds, and pension trust funds. Custodial funds, assets held, benefit parties not part of the government administrating the fund. So the, the assets within the custodial fund then are assets that do, do not benefit the government that is administrating the fund. And that's one of the conditions or one of the things that would make it a fiduciary type of fund because we're administering the assets within the fund. However, those assets aren't for the benefit of the governmental unit that is administrating them, therefore fiduciary fund. Government administering the fund cannot be involved in administrative decision making regarding the use or distribution of fund assets. So when we're thinking about how are we going to use the particular assets, that's not something that the government administrating the fund is doing. The government administrating the fund is tracking basically the accounting of the fund. And we'll talk about some other responsibilities that the government entity can be doing. But note that in the custodial fund, the fiduciary type fund, Government administrating the fund cannot be involved in administrative decision making regarding the use or distribution of the funds. Government can perform these actions. The government can have the billing property owners for the assessments. So they could go through the billing process of the property owners for the assessment, collecting installments of assessments and interest on the assessment. So they can actually go through the collection process within uh, the custodial fund and can pay interest and principal on special assessment debt. Now, there are some challenges specific to a custodial fund type of fiduciary fund, which include tax payments are received at different times. So we could have tax payments that are on time, that are late, or that are not received at all. That's one of the difficulties in managing the custodial type fund. The rates for different funds and governments can change from year to year. So the, the rates aren't necessarily going to be the same from year to year and we'll have to deal with those changes as well. Uh, the collector can withhold a portion of the taxes collected as compensation for resources used to facilitate the collection. So that could complicate the, the bookkeeping process as well. The collector can withhold a portion of the taxes collected. So note the processes to, to uh, take the taxes or collect the taxes, but we're acting as a fiduciary. Those taxes then aren't for the governmental unit that is collecting. However, the collector can withhold a portion of the taxes collected as compensation for resources used to facilitate the collection in order to basically pay for the collection or the process of acting as the fiduciary, in essence, as an agent uh, doing the work of collecting the assets that don't belong to that particular governmental unit that is doing the collecting and administrating, but another uh, entity. Custodial funds financial reporting. Fiduciary activities are reported in the fiduciary fund financial statement only. So they're in the fiduciary fund financial statement. So that's going to be on the fund level that we're talking about here only. So we're not seeing it on the government wide level because again, the assets involved here are part of the fiduciary funds and not part of the governmental unit that is administrating them. Therefore, not on the governmental level. Custodial funds financial information is aggregated and reported in a separate column on the statement of fiduciary net position and statement of changes in fiduciary net position. Financial information for external parties is the only financial information reported by custodial funds on the fiduciary funds statements. And there is a, an exception to aggregating custodial information if there is an investment trust fund that must be reported as a custodial fund. It would then be reported as a separate column.